Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Shamaatte, and I'm so happy to see you. Today I'm going to review the four moisturizers from Minimalist. I bought these things a uh, quite a while back, but I took some time to do this review. For this review, I'm going to mostly focus on my experience. Um, I can do detailed ingredients analysis if you want that for Instagram or something. But if you go to their website, they have mentioned all the ingredients, and the analysis was. quite on point now the brands are quite transparent about their ingredients and on their websites they are providing the necessary details and i remember like even like 2 years back we had to struggle so much even to get like key ingredients you know no information just all the lofty marketing claims and all and i'm so happy that things have changed for better so yeah but if you want me to talk about ingredients more then i can do that but i received comments like uh, people are more interested in my experience so yeah now let's start so first i have their ceramide moisturizer for oily skin so it is formulated with 0.3% ceramides also it has cholesterol fatty acids because these things work really well together it also has magnesium sulfide and ascorbic acid to strengthen our skin barrier to soothe our skin and i really like the ingredients of this moisturizer and i really like the texture so it is for oily skin i still have like really dry skin i think for like all the good skin care routine my skin is doing really better now it doesn't feel like too dry or too oily i like how it feels and i have noticed these days you know the things that are made for oily skin or combination skin these things are suiting me more like that industry uh, green tea toner is for oily skin and i love it and this one also so this is a gel moisturizer for summer i think it's going to be perfect for day time for night time you have to like follow up with a facial oil but alone i don't think it's going to do the job but for the day time if you're using this with a sunscreen it's really good for this moisturizer if you only use cleanser and moisturizer you won't find this to be enough to be very honest i layer this with hydrating uh, toner then serum then i apply this moisturizer and this way it works really well but if you are someone who is just into cleanser and moisturizer then you might not find this to be enough moisturizing and hydrating it works really good under makeup sunscreen i love the texture it blends really well my skin feels nice with it so yeah i think it's going to suit for all skin types during the summer time if you are looking for a lightweight daytime moisturizer and i would totally recommend you this for this summer because this is quite good because let's be honest during the summer we don't like greasy to take moisturizers especially in the daytime it doesn't feel sticky greasy excellent texture for a gel moisturizer but like i told you if you're not layering this well it might not feel enough for your skin but i really like it i'm going to buy this again for sure and next i tried their ceramide moisturizer for dry skin it has those uh, ceramides cholesterol fatty acids uh, the thing is i'm going to be very <laughs> frank with you i do not like this moisturizer because it is a tough job to blend it very tough job it doesn't blend uh it takes quite a while i do not like it i do not like this at all i love the ingredients very much but i do not like the texture it feels sticky uh, and doesn't blend on my skin so i'm yeah, not going to buy that again i tried this on damp skin i tried this on dry skin i tried to layer it with other uh, things also i tried this in small amount large amount but not for me so next i tried their vitamin b5 moisturizer it has 10% panthenol and panthenol is very good for hydrating your skin is very good for your skin barrier it also has glycerin allantoin zinc pca and it can be very good for soothing your skin if you have weak skin barrier then this moisturizer can do a really good job i really like it i mean if i compare the texture with their uh, ceramide moisturizer for oily skin then this panthenol moisturizer feels more hydrating more moisturizing um you also can layer this with that ceramide moisturizer if you don't find the ceramide moisturizer to be enough 
moisturizing and hydrating that would do but i think for summer that'd be too much uh, but during the night time you can try layering but do you need to buy the both of the moisturizers no i don't think so if you want something more lighter uh, with a uh, ceramides in it go for that ceramide moisturizer and if you want something more uh, moisturizing hydrating you can go for this panthenol moisturizer and minimalist claims that this moisturizer is oil free the texture of this moisturizer reminds me of formula rx gel moisturizer and i do think it would work for like all skin types during the summer and then i have their marula oil moisturizer this one is thicker than that uh, panthenol moisturizer and i prefer this for night time but it has a little bit sticky feeling to it and there are days i feel that it makes my skin look dull but again the ingredients are really good and if you want something more uh, moisturizing then this uh, moisturizer can be very good for you if your skin likes marula oil then you can try this moisturizer but for me my top picks would be the panthenol moisturizer and their uh, ceramide moisturizer for oily skin for the summer and i really appreciate they kept this moisturizers really affordable uh, and they have used really good ingredients for texture um, the marula oil and the dry skin uh, ceramide moisturizer for dry skin this could have better texture for sure so that's all for now thank you so much for watching and two more videos on moisturizer uh, is coming this month uh, so yeah this month i'm gonna overboard with moisturizers because it's been a while since i made detailed videos on moisturizers and you know right i really love moisturizers so i have many options because i have tried quite a few quite a lot moisturizers lately so yeah i'm gonna talk about those things i hope you found this to be helpful and if you have any feedback or questions then please let me know in the comments box so that's all for now see you very soon bye bye